Hello everyone, I'm Vabha from the Symbian blog and in this video we're gonna have a look at two very similar N96 devices that perform very differently. The one on the left has trouble going through the day with heavy usage in terms of web applications, GPRS, Wi-Fi browsing, GPS, video recording. While the other one has absolutely no problem going through the day with heavy usage. Now the reason for the same is not a different firmware, is not software modifications. The reason is plain simple hardware. If you recall the N78 is powered by the 1200 mAh battery while the N96 comes with a 950 mAh battery. All I did was simply pop up the hood, replace the 950 with the 1200 and what I have is a very very likeable N96. If you look closely at what this has done, you'll notice absolutely no change. This is the same cover that ships with the N96. I have not used any cello tape or any glue whatsoever to put the cover back on. It's back on its hinges without an issue. Yes, it takes a little bit of an effort to fix, but then it's very easy to put in once you get the hang of it. It's very, very solid. It does not fall off no matter what I do. I've been using the N96 this way for the past 3-4 days and I have absolutely faced no problems at all. If you look closely at the device, you might be able to spot a little bit of a bump and a gap between the casing and the body. Now this, in my opinion, is hardly even noticeable and even if it were, it's a very very small price to pay for the performance of the 1200 mAh battery. Now the question I want to put Nokia is why did they not put the 1200 mAh in the first place itself? The reason they gave was that, that they wanted to keep the phone slim but even with the 1200 mAh as you can see the phone almost regains similar size. Now it does not compare to the 1500 mAh battery of the E71 but then the N96 still performs as a very very reasonable device. Now since Nokia I'm sure is not going to make a different cover so that we can put the battery easily but this is where third party developers come in, people who make accessories. I'm hoping some of them will come up with a separate back cover that allows the 1200mAh to go in without an issue. But even if they don't, be rest assured that if you get a 1200mAh battery, put it in, there will be a little bit of complication which can be easily overcome and you'll have a much better device. To feel very safe, you might even want to put a small piece of cello tape, although not required. I have not had one single problem, but even if you wanted to, you could do that. So ladies and gentlemen, here is my take on the N96. With a 1200 mAh battery, the N96 is a very likeable phone. I love its multimedia part, more of it coming on the Symbian blog in, term of, in terms of a bigger written review. But as an overview, I'm very happy with the device with a 1200 mAh battery. So this is something which I'm looking to buy for myself, a separate battery, a small investment to get, get me a lot from the N96. That's all for now. See you soon. Thank you so much.